are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month the best way we know how. Showing up and showing out. That's what Hispanic Heritage Month is all about. I'm so excited. <laughs> Well, for anyone growing up in a Spanish-speaking Latino household, the Estefans were a name, a sound, a part of the family that made you want to get on your feet and dance. And now you can get that feeling, and it can be found here in Bakersfield at the Stars Theater Restaurant. Starting tonight, the rhythm is going to get you. Joining me now is Isamar Olagues, who plays Gloria Estefan, and Eric Casillas, who plays Emilio Estefan. Thank you guys both for being on today. For Alex Hernandez, he not only decided he was going to graduate high school early, but he was also going to get a head start on college, getting his associate's degree at the same time as graduating high school. Sí es, es algo que quería hacer desde niña chiquitita. Así es que para tener esta oportunidad estoy bien orgullosa y me siento muy muy alegre, pero es una oportunidad bien diferente de lo que estoy haciendo ahorita. And kind of showing off that American dream too, right? right? Oh, so yeah. th this is possible. The, they're immigrants. They 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 made the American dream for themselves, you know, mm -hmm. and are now household names and are strong people that we all look up to. So that's that's really cool to be able to play that as well. That representation really matters. The Hernandez family has a saying that they instilled in Alejandro, and that is "Tiempo es oro," which translates into "Time is gold." They credit this to him reaching his accomplishments at such a young age. The rasp in her voice and the accent on her tongue makes her who she is, a proud Latina in the Wiregrass community. Aponte was inspired to translate because of her own experiences when she came to Alabama. Excuse me, my English is not so very good looking. <laughs> now able to joke about her English back in 1988, her transition wasn't as simple. When I came as a young adult at 19 to Alabama and people started speaking to me, my Lord, I needed a translator. Aponte says something she tries to share with her followers is to always try to do something good for someone other than yourself. My goal is to try a little bit of everything <laughs> and too much of nothing. <laughs> For Julissa, growing up Latina has hair, taught her to be proud of her culture and embrace her heritage in many because hair ways. Um, I have a huge family. I have over 60 first cousins just in Los Angeles. Julissa, like many other Latinos, grew up very close to her family, and they have been an integral part in her business. They were her first models for her hairline. Her brother was her photographer and her right-hand man, and her cousin drew the label now displayed on the bottles sold at Target stores nationwide. Pretty much started the, the category at Target of Latina hair care. Aquí estoy con mi tía Marta, quien me va a enseñar cómo mirar las hojas para hacer los tomates, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, ¿qué es la primera cosa que tengo que hacer? Just inside this house, the smell of sazón goya, plátanos y adobo fills the air, and the sounds of salsa, merengue y bachata moves the Hernandez family to share their culture with the community. Unity. The diversity is a little different in the United States versus Puerto Rico. Amazing. That speaks to just the fact that music and dance, you know, it crosses it crosses barriers, it crosses borders, it crosses languages. It can really unite people. Right. And as two Latinos ourselves, it was a privilege to share our cultures with all of you. And in the words of our friend Myra, un poquito de todo y mucho de nada. Feliz Navidad y próspero año nuevo. Soy Eliana Capellan para Telemundo Valle Central. Mm. Until next time, we'll see ya.